I'm Doug Sawyer, the Chair of Alberta Beef Producers and the past Chair of Alberta Farm Animal Care. My family and I run a mixed cattle operation up at Pine Lake. We have a uh, cow-calf and we background some calves and, and grass cattle as, as well. Body condition scoring is a tool that we started using on our operation a few years ago. It's a hands-on management tool that tells you the condition of your cows and how much fat the animal is actually carrying. There's a strong link between body scoring and the performance, especially on breeding. A, a cow of 3.5 body score condition will rebreed better than a cow that's either too thin or too fat. We use it also to manage our cattle for different nutritional needs. This is why we got into it, is to try to save ourselves some money on feed. So we actually split our feeding programs and are able to feed at the right time of the year for the most efficiency in our cattle herd. We also are able to score our cattle better for when they're ready for slaughter. Body scoring, pros and cons. On the pro side, it's very simple and easy to learn. It's fast, it's cheap, it's something you can do yourself with your own team, your own skills at, at home. It does not require any specialized equipment or tools to use it and it can be performed when you've already got your cattle in and you're already working them so you can do it when you're preg checking or any other time that you've got them in processing. There's a lot of resources you can use to get information to learn how to do this like the website below. Alberta Agriculture has people trained in it and they've got written information. You can also use phone apps if you're so inclined to do so. On the con side, the measurement is subjective. So the same person should perform the body scoring each and every time. Two people will come up with slightly different evaluations because it is subjective to the person doing the actual job. So you want to be able to compare year to year or time to time accurately. You need to make sure that the same person is doing it over and over. In Canada, our system is rated from one to five one being very thin, five being very fat. And if you're comparing it to the US system, they rate from one to nine. So as an example, a Canadian body score of 3.5 would equal a US body score of six. So if you're talking to our US counterparts, you have to take that into account. How to body score? There's no muscle between the end of the short ribs and the hide. So any padding that's there would be felt as fat. So if you take your hands and place them right on that short rib and point your fingers back you can actually feel how much fat is there or how much fat is not there. You can move your hands around and test in different places. So there's different places to look for body scoring that you can use with your hands. Just feel these places on the short ribs the backbone or the top of the cow, right on the right on the top, the hip bones, there's no muscle meat there, you can feel the fat. You can feel the fat on the tail head and around in the brisket if it's safe to get at it. This slide depicts some of the body score conditions that you will be looking at. You can see them often, but until you get your hands on the cow, you can't be 100% sure of what you're actually looking at. Sometimes a good hair coat can hide things and sometimes they just look a little bit different than when you get your hands right onto them. Here's body scores three and four. Starting to get a little bit heavier. You're going to feel a little more fat around in these areas in the brisket and over the hips and on the uh, short ribs. A body condition of five. You should feel quite a bit of fat everywhere. This cow is going to be fairly rolly. You won't be able to feel the bones like you could on the, uh, the thinner cows. You can body score your cows several times during the year if you want to. A lot of people do it when they're uh, preg checking and that determines if you preg check early enough before winter starts that determines for us on our ranch our late fall feeding program. It's, it's a lot cheaper to put pounds on your cow at that time and then you can skid through there cheaper. We also sort our cattle at that time so we'll put thinner cows in a different pen and give them a different ration while they're still out on grass we can supplement them. You can also body condition at calving time. 
This tells you what you need to do before you go to uh, uh, a breeding. And you want to be able to keep your cows in shape while they're calving. That will, uh, that will make it cheaper to get them into breeding condition. You can also leave it and check them all about 30 days before breeding. That should give you enough time to adjust your feeding program to make sure they're in that 3.5 range so you'll get a good conception rate. You can do it just once a year and make your management decisions off that for feeding and for culling easier, but we like to do it more often if we can. Cows that are too fat and too thin have some similar problems. Low fertility, calving difficulty, decreased calving vigor or survival rates, and certainly lower weaning weights. If your cows are too thin or too fat, it impacts their milk production and their ability to grow calves that make us the money we need. You can group cows, and that's what we do on our place. We, we put our cows so that the diet they need is exactly what they're getting, or hopefully close to what they're, they're getting. So we pull our thin cows, and we put them in a special pen where they get a little more feed, and we back off on some of our heavier cows. That allows us to feed our main herd just what they, they need without overfeeding the heavier ones and ensuring that the lighter ones get up to speed so they can breed easy and perform well with their weaning weights. As I was saying, it's easy to lose condition on cows, especially over winter. The winter we've had this year certainly proved that. So we like to get our cows up into shape a little earlier while the weather's still a bit warmer. We often supplement right on the uh, grass in the late fall and put a few extra pounds on our cows to get them up to that uh, three area at least or more and then it makes them easier to get makes it cheaper and easier to get them through the winter when the colder months are there when you can't put pounds on you're trying to feed just to maintain them. The one thing you can do is work with your nutritionist or your feed salesperson and figure out what is the best options for you for the cows that you've grouped up. You can describe to them their body condition they know exactly what you're talking about then when you come in with a number and uh, they'll, they'll know how to get you the cheapest feed and the best quality for your cattle for the winter. Certainly there's some added cost to, to carrying over thin cows and you want to make sure that you've got those cows in shape and ready to go for, uh, for breeding time as well as if you're going to call cows you want to make sure that they're in shape to get the best dollar out of those cows that you possibly can. And by scoring them, you can make sure that you're feeding them right before you're shipping them and have them in shape to, to, go, to, to go to town. Certainly there's some issues with shipping cattle that are too thin. A one should never be shipped and a body score of two should be shipped for only short distances and you need to look at the cow and feel the body condition and make sure you're right and accurate on that because there's certainly some welfare issues with cows going down on trucks and you won't get the money you're hoping to get out of them if they're not in in shape. This slide depicts the beef quality audits. The interesting thing about this slide is it's showing the management that we're doing on our farms and ranches over a period of time we're getting our cows in better shape and we're keeping them in better shape and that's a benefit to all of us in the industry. Certainly it brings dollars back to our pocket to have cows, in particular call cows when we're shipping them to make sure we're getting full value on them. It also means that we're getting good reception rates and that our, that our cows are in shape to raise us good big healthy calves and return dollars to our pockets.